The international media and many in the international community rely on the reports of the Palestinian Ministry of Health in the Gaza Strip, which is run by Hamas. They refer to Hamas as a reliable source, even though it is a murderous and barbaric terrorist organization. There is no war in modern history in which the collateral damage is as limited as in this war. Israel adheres to international law and the laws of armed conflict and makes a supreme effort in order to reduce this damage. Hamas's credibility is questionable and problematic, not only on the basis of past experience, but in general as well. It is thus necessary to start from the assumption that the numbers of casualties reported are much higher than the real number. In addition, it is important to emphasize that a large number of victims are not innocent citizens, but rather Hamas operatives who work in civilian clothes and assimilated into the population. Their identity is hidden even after they have been injured or killed and they are included in the number of civilian casualties and moreover, a significant percentage of the victims are the result of failed rocket fire by Hamas and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, such as the incident at Al Ahli Hospital. There are also executions of civilians who seek to flee south and are shot by Hamas. The numbers reported regarding children who were harmed are also far-fetched and exaggerated. Hamas recruits young children in their teens and uses them as terrorists. In addition, many of those unarmed or uninvolved civilians were killed because Hamas used them as human shields inside civilian facilities. Hamas acts with the intention of deliberately sacrificing its people for propaganda and media efforts. The distorted discourse on proportionality suggests that good and bad, right and wrong are measured by comparing the numbers of victims. It ignores the effort Israel makes to develop systems that protect its population and save lives, while Hamas develops means of killing and operates them from within the civilian population while using its population as human shields.